Andrew, so we're here at MWC where 5G is all the rage. How is keeping a boat connected different than what we're hearing about from operators? Yeah, thanks. It's uh, very different with uh, boat technology. So a boat is not very close to a Wi-Fi network. It's remote. It's often stored at a marina in a harsh outdoor environment. And then when it leaves the dock and it leaves that marina, it's out into the open. It's out in the open water, and that's where it lends need for a satellite co connectivity as well. So with our connected boat technology, we're really focused on how we can help the boat owners understand what is happening with their boat when it's remote. Why does having a connected boat even matter? Do you need a connected boat? Yeah, so often, oftentimes the owners may, may live away from their marina, or away from their boat. So they want to look at things and make sure that it's not being impacted by weather. It might, might, might be taken on high water. We want to make sure the battery's always charged so that it's going to turn over and start up when you get there. Um, we also have um, hatch and door sensors so you can see if it's been unauthorized or used in an authorized fashion. And then we, can, we use GPS and geofences to make sure that the boat is not moved without anybody knowing as well. So it really is the eyes and ears and allowing somebody to keep an eye on this, on this um, boat from afar. So this is kind of something new to me. So how big is the market for connected boats? Well, it's still, it's still an emerging market. Um, we are beginning to ship boats standard now with a connected technology built into it. So we've got uh, 20 of our major boat builders that are shipping boats right now. And uh, we, our goal at Yamaha and Siren Marine is to have all of our marine products connected by 2030. So we think it's a very, very big market and a very big opportunity for sure. So what's next on the horizon when it comes to marine connectivity? Is AI going to take? Yeah, yeah, AI is a buzzword around around everywhere. So um, you know what we what we want to do is be able to to bring in a lot of data about how our boats are being used and run, so that we can run AI on top of that. And we want to get to things where we can actually prevent and predict maintenance or issues before it even occurs. So if we see a number of different things happening, different fault codes thrown at different times on the boat. If we can draw trend lines and look at other people who are on a similar kind of path, we may be able to prevent those issues before they occur and let that boat owner know, which is really important for us as we keep people in boating longer, buying more boats, and having a better time on the water. Excellent, Andrew. Thank you so much for your right. time. Hey, thank you.